Red Diamond is too loyal. We have another Samir Bhavanani video here. Husband cheats on a wife with her best friend. Let's get into this, guys. Honey, sit down. I have some exciting news to share with you. <sighs> yeah. Are you sure you have time to talk, though? The floor is full of crumbs. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get to that. First, let me share this with you. Uh, all right. I have some of the share with you, too. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, then, then you go first, babe. I want a divorce. Wait. What? Got it. Are you seriously it shocked to hear this? It's been a long time coming. I mean... I know I've had our issues, but I've been working really hard to fix them. Enough, Melissa. I've been hearing this for two years already. I know, but it takes time, Edward. Our son was just born two years ago, and now that he's gotten bigger, I've had more time to- Just let me talk, Melissa. I'm tired of the excuses. Well, what is the issue this time? It's not just this time. It's all the time. I mean, look at the floor. I'm always having to clean up after you. I know. I'm sorry. If you would just give me a chance to explain- Explain? Why don't you listen? Last night even, I step in the kitchen to get some water and the sink is full of disgusting food. You can't even rinse it down the drain. This is why he wants a divorce from her instead of just talking to her about it. Rain? You don't have time for that? Yeah, but- And look at you. You're always tired. You never even want to make love anymore. Why can't you be more like your friend Tanya? Tanya? What does she have to do with this? Well- Why would you say that? Tanya and I, we've been spending more time with each other. What? Well. You know we work with each other. And at least she pays attention to me. So, we've been sleeping together. What? You've been sleeping with my best friend? Please, Melissa. Don't blame this on me. You're completely unsupportive, and you're a terrible wife. You even cook me food when I get home. If you would have just talked to me. Sorry, Melissa. What's done is done. Hey, wait. What was it that you were going to tell me? Well, Edward, if you must know, I know I've been a bit messy. Being a first-time mother and handling our child all alone so you can further advance your career has been a bit of a challenge. And I know you like the house clean. So coming in about one hour, I scheduled our new maid to come clean the house every week. What? A maid? And you thought I could afford this? No, Edward. I didn't expect you to be able to afford that. You see, I'm extra tired at night because besides taking care of our son, I've been studying to complete my recertification for my CPA online. Okay, and? And today, I just got hired for a full-time remote job as the chief executive officer of KPMG. <coughs> oh. Wait, what? That's going to he going to regret divorcing her now. Look at him. Right. It pays over $500,000 a year. What? That's more than I make. I know. And that's why I was going to pay for the maid and the nanny. The nanny who I will supervise watching our baby while I work from home. Honey, that's amazing. <laughs> oh no, Edward. There oh yeah, you uh no, nah, you wanted a divorce. You you were her best friend, remember? There's someone else I'll be hiring. Uh -huh. What? My brother. Did you forget that he's the best family lawyer in the city? I, uh... That's right. And when we bought this house, you put my name on the deed. And believe me, <laughs> he I will be getting full custody of our son. Up. And keeping this house. Especially up. since you already admitted to cheating on me while we were still married. Did you forget that we had security cameras? <sighs> Honey, come on. Wow. If you'd have just told me this... Maybe we could just not do this divorce? <laughs> oh no, Edward. What's done is done. The men could be gold diggers too. Because if she didn't say that she got a good job that pay her that much money, and she hiring nannies, and, and he ain't got to pay for it, if she didn't say none of that, then he wouldn't be trying to not get the divorce all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, and Edward, I'm surprised you didn't notice this. But Tanya was born Tim. Yep, that's right. What? She was born a man. And I know how unprogressive you are. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Her, so her best friend, who's he's, who he's been cheating on her with, 
was born a man. Wow. So I'm surprised you're into that. And so, as Melissa walked away from a life that no longer served her, she embraced a future with newfound strength and clarity. Sometimes, life's challenges push us to rediscover our own step. worth and potential. In the face of adversity, we can find the courage to stand up for ourselves and make choices that lead to a better, more fulfilling life. Remember, true happiness and respect begin with self-respect. It's important to communicate openly, appreciate each other's efforts, and never forget that we all deserve to be valued and loved. Well, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.